So, thank you for the interview. First of all, uh, we would like to congratulate you for all of your movies. Thank you. Um, I would like you to. I would like to ask you uh, when you decided to study cinema and films. It was pretty difficult this time in Greece. The the fact that Greece didn't give you a lot of opportunities back then. No, in Greece, they, in my period, they were in my age when I was young, younger, even younger than you, there was no possibilities, no any possibility. And particularly because I was belonging to a class of society which doesn't have any rights, let's say. So the only way to study was to go outside. And the only place to study, because I didn't have money, is in France, because the studies are free for the university and then for, for the students, they have facilities for housing, facilities for restaurants, so, so forth. So in France was the right place. My, my, my idea at the beginning was to, be, uh, to learn to write. And then I discovered very quickly that there was another way to tell stories, because with images, cinema. So I decided to leave La Sorbonne after a while and to go to the IDEC, which was the cinema, the school for cinema in France. Uh, IDEC is Institut de Haute Etude Cinematographique. So. And then I was very lucky after finishing the school to be assistant of some major directors in France. That was very helpful to, to, to learn better the cinema. We've seen your movie Amen in here in the festival and we would like to know that what was the impact of your movie Amen? The impact? I, I, I don't want to know the impact of my movies <laughs> because I would like to stay free for the next movie. <laughs> not to say I would have to have a better impact this one and so forth. So I know people uh, like the movie, it has a big success in the theaters. And people came to me on the street and say, oh, great movies, but that's all I know about it. I'm sorry, I had to sit here because it made for a better photograph. <laughs> well, um, we couldn't help but notice, while we were watching, I mean, that the shooting techniques, um, they gave it sort of a feel that it wasn't from the 2000s. I mean, we were watching the movie and we felt like it was something it, it felt like a film made previously. So, why was this a choice you made for any reason? You know, each theme, each story uh, has its way of, for me, to be uh, shot, to be told. So, I have the, I, I, the choice I made for that movie was that way, a kind of traditional way of making a movie, because the story was so big, so complex. So I didn't like to add to this complexity the, the uh, technical things. It was to be very simple and very direct. That's the idea. If you saw other movies I made, they are completely shot in a completely different way. I mean, the shooting depends. You, because the shooting, what's the shooting? It's a writing, as you write a book. So it's writing is, it comes from, from, from the story itself. And you know, cannot use it the same writing for, for, for every book, or you cannot uh, use the same writing for, for every movie. Um, does Amen have an underlined message like you, you want to give specially for the audience? Uh, sorry? Underlined message in the Amen. No, I don't have a message. You know, it's, it's trying to send a message is ridiculous. We're not there to make messages. They are political leaders, they are, uh, they are, they are uh, religious leaders for messages. We tell, tell stories. We make a show. The movie is a show. You go to the movies because you like to, have, to go to the show. You don't go to listen a kind of uh, political speech or religious speech or whatever speech or even academical speech. You go there to have feelings, good feelings, to like, to, 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 to not like, to laugh, to cry to be furious eventually. Those are the feelings, the, the, the feelings you can have in a spectacle, like the theater, like the musical uh, concerto and so forth. So no message. But you say what you think yeah. personally, what's your feelings about that story, about that particular story. My feeling was that the, the Pope, who was a kind of uh, 
uh, author uh, moral authority at, at that period, less today. Today everybody makes joke with the Pope. At that time you would, you would go to the prison if you say anything against the Pope, in Italy, France, everywhere. So in front of that extraordinary situation, the extermination of the Jews, he knew everything. Every moment he'd say nothing. That morally was unacceptable. And the other thing that interests me that movie, as a theme, is the resistance. I think in life we have to always to resist, not accept things just because people say you do this or you do that. We have to resist. If not, you become slaves. We become slaves. So, Mr. Gavras, you always choose important and risky topics for your films. And um, have you ever thought to make something more conventional, maybe something different from your, your topics? And what will you advise to young directors that want to start making films? No, I have made different movies. If you start from my first movie to the last one, it's, everyone is different story, different place, different people and so forth. No, concerning to the young people, I don't have advices. The only thing I would say is to be personal, to do what you think without imitating other people, other directors, for the cinema for example, other directors or other writers, or to, to be in the only way to tell a story, to tell it as you feel yourself, without using the the talent or trying to use the talent of someone okay. because you have the talent we have limited big halfway <laughs> so you sh should use this talent okay thank you very much we have been ah, do you have another questions it was great okay thank you thank you very much one last question because i'm wondering because i'm i'm greek and as well and i'm wondering that in today's Greece, uh, like the, econ the economic crisis and everything. Uh, if, is, is it possible for someone to shoot a film and what kind of film could uh, be best? Because, you know, there, there's no money and the whole... The money is always a problem. Yes. For the cinema. And I know also, fortunately, the Greek government does have so much money to help the mm. writers. But things always we can do something. But today with the digital, it's yeah. e it's much more easier than, than years ago. And I think young Greeks are making movies. I don't have I haven't seen all of them. But they say I'm trying to see them, to watch them. But they say yes, they are trying. But the kind of story to make it's about Greek people, how they feel, how they live. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much.